David L. Stewart, Doing Business by the Good Book, 52 Lessons on Success Straight from the Bible. In Doing Business by the Good Book, David L. Stewart shares the principles he applied to build and run worldwide technology on a solid foundation of biblical wisdom. Throughout the book, Stewart delves into themes like faith, integrity, perseverance, and ethical conduct to demonstrate how these principles can steer your business toward excellence. By drawing on the influence of historic moral leaders and incorporating universal teachings from the Bible, readers will learn how to create a corporate community of value, encourage innovation, establish enduring relationships, and serve others in the true spirit of their faith. This engaging introduction prepares readers for a transformative journey into the marriage of spirituality and business success. Biblical Principles for Business Success David L. Stewart, the founder of Worldwide Technology, believes anyone can use universal biblical teachings to guide a business on religious principles. Stewart suggests that even if the business idea seems outlandish like Noah's Ark, trust your vision in God. He emphasizes that faith is not enough ammunition for starting a business, hard work and careful planning are essential. Stewart recommends selecting the right people to work for your business and making it stand for something meaningful. Drawing inspiration from historic moral leaders like Harriet Tubman and Martin Luther King Jr., don't let public or marketplace disapproval deter from following your values. Stewart believes that gut feelings are spiritually inspired, and it's God guiding us. When making decisions or hiring, heed that voice and build a corporate community of values and good feeling. Leading with Biblical Principles Build a strong foundation for your business by adopting biblical principles of integrity and trust. As a leader, inspire your employees to commit to your vision and serve others with excellence. Encourage creativity, autonomy, and responsibility while reinforcing the importance of long-term relationships. The book emphasizes on conducting business with integrity and trust as the core principles of a successful business. The author suggests that even though contracts are essential, it's crucial to work with people you trust. The book draws inspiration from Corinthians 2-5-17-20, which states that we must act as ambassadors of God and guard our honor. Leaders should prioritize serving others by putting their employees' needs before their own and providing them with the necessary training and support. The author stresses on the significance of having a vision based on biblical principles. To achieve this, leaders must have faith in themselves and their ideas. They must trust their team and encourage creativity while reinforcing responsibility and autonomy. The book highlights the importance of long-term relationships and how they are essential in building a good brand. As a leader, one must lead with love, as taught in Corinthians I, 13 4-7, to inspire trust and confidence in their employees. While hiring, leaders must look for creative minds that bring genuinely new ideas to the table. It's equally important to understand each person's skill set and put them in the right position. Once employees are in place, they should be given autonomy and held accountable, as illustrated in the Parable of the Talents, in Matthew 25 verses 14 to 30. In conclusion, the book emphasizes the need to lead with biblical principles to build a strong foundation for a business. Conducting business with integrity, building autonomous and creative teams, and fostering a long-term relationship with customers are all essential elements of a successful business. It teaches leaders to have faith in themselves, their employees, and their vision, ultimately creating a business that operates with honesty, trust, and excellence. Godly Principles for Business Success Align yourself with biblical teachings, carve out a niche market, stay focused, and prioritize integrity for triumph in the corporate world. In the quest for business success, planning is imperative. However, even the best laid plans can require altercations as they are executed. It is crucial to adjust your approach to fit the changing environment while maintaining your values. The Bible teaches that no one can serve two masters, so it is best to carve out a specific business niche that aligns with your faith. Concentrate on serving others rather than being self-serving to ensure your plan has merit. 
The story of David and Goliath teaches the significance of faith and concentrated effort in overcoming significant obstacles. As a company grows, it may expand into a second niche market, but it is essential to remain patient and stick to core principles. Leaders should make their plan public and share it with the staff so that everyone is on the same page. Remind the team of the big picture and block out distractions that do not contribute to the vision of success. Maintaining an intense focus distinguishes your brand from the competitors and increases customer loyalty. Maintaining integrity in the business community is essential to build strong relationships. Trust should be earned by being honest in dealings consistently. Hard work and intense faith do not guarantee successes, and there will be stumbles. Therefore, contingency plans are crucial. Planning for the lean years and reinvesting during good times is advisable. Time management is a vital part of running a successful business. There is a time for everything, as highlighted in Ecclesiastes. Knowing when to uphold established plans and when to modify them is essential. Finally, it is crucial to remember that no one is in charge forever. Developing a succession plan to ensure the business continues to serve customers long after you have gone necessitates a sacred trust. The corporate world can be challenging, but aligning oneself with godly principles can make all the difference. By creating a specific niche market, focusing on serving others, being trustworthy and honest, having a contingency plan, managing time appropriately, and prioritizing a succession plan, any business can thrive. Delegation, Trust, and Pruning, Leadership Lessons from Moses and Jesus The book imparts essential leadership lessons that center on delegation, trust, teambuilding, mentoring, and pruning. Leaders must learn to delegate effectively to avoid exhaustion, build enduring relationships, and surround themselves with capable individuals. A clear vision and understanding of team dynamics are also crucial, and unethical employees must be pruned to foster a culture of integrity. Above all, leaders must lead from the heart, anchored in faith, warmth, generosity, and love, as exemplified by Moses and Jesus. Achieving Success Through Faith and Love in Business The book emphasizes the importance of deep faith and unwavering conviction in achieving success in business. By standing by your values and making them publicly known, you will attract people who share your convictions and ultimately flourish. The author draws inspiration from biblical figures like Jesus who faced adversity but remained true to their beliefs. Additionally, the book emphasizes the importance of loving and valuing your employees as if they were family members. By making fair decisions, offering meaningful rewards, and extending benefits to their families, you can create a positive and productive work environment. Lastly, the book encourages finding joy and making work fun to spark creativity and keep customers satisfied. Despite facing debt and challenges, faith, positivity, and love can lead to success in business. Building a Strong Business on Biblical Principles Building a successful business on biblical teachings doesn't guarantee a conflict-free journey, as evident in the life of Moses. However, leaders can ensure the correction of unethical practices while encouraging creative conflict resolution and collaboration. To maintain perspective, leaders need individuals around them who can challenge their views. Your brand reputation is your most valuable asset, it takes consistency to maintain and grow it. Learning from competitors is important, but focusing on serving God and customers is key to beating the competition, not counterattacking them. Being a devout leader doesn't imply weakness, rather, it strengthens your leadership skills to outperform and outsell the competition. Effective Communication for Business Success Effective communication is crucial to business success. It involves staying in touch with your team, reinforcing your mission and values, and sharing details of the company's progress. Both success and failures should be celebrated and faced immediately. Listening skills and clear communication are vital, as every sale requires convincing. Selling your product should be a priority for everyone in the company, but expressing appreciation to customers falls on the founder or owner's shoulders. Follow the principles of the good book Be Candid, Show Gratitude, and Communicate Effectively.
As Steward demonstrates in Doing Business by the Good Book, embracing biblical teachings and principles can serve as a reliable compass in navigating the challenges and complexities of the business world. By adhering to such tenets as faith, perseverance, ethical conduct, integrity, and humility, you not only create a solid foundation to grow your business but also inspire and foster a corporate culture that reflects your core values. Ultimately, by focusing on service to others and staying true to your convictions, your business will not only be a symbol of accomplishment but also a testament to the timeless wisdom of the good book.